Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Princeton and Notre Dame is brought to you by Princeton Orthopedic Associates. Jersey Sports Zone's hockey championship coverage is brought to you by the New Jersey Devils. Two familiar foes meeting in the Mercer County Tournament Final, third seed 12-6-1 Notre Dame taking on top seed 16-3-3 Princeton. Little Tigers taking both matchups between these two in the regular season. Different storyline tonight, Michael McVay gets the party started for Notre Dame in the first period. He draws first blood for the Irish with five minutes left. Goalie Cole Worth been playing big between the posts early on keeps Princeton off the board. Closing 14 seconds, Mike McVay strikes again to give Notre Dame a 2-0 lead after one. Second period, Will Selly like a thief in the night the way he snugged that one in. Irish make it a three-goal lead five minutes in. But Princeton not ready to lay down yet. Ethan Garlock takes advantage of a power play to get the Little Tigers on the board with 2.33 left. They trail 3-1 after two. Princeton skating a man down to start the third. Don't tell Cooper Zulo that. Gets space, and the Little Tigers down by one less than a minute in. Despite those two goals, Cole Worthman holding it down at goal for Notre Dame in the home stretch. Makes a big time save versus Cooper Zulo shortly after. A bit later, Zulo tries again, and Worthman not having it. Following another goal from Will Selly, Notre Dame skating two men down. Princeton miscues this pass, which leaves Gavin Frith in space, and he's gone on the breakaway. Frith finds net, and he had the whole case of Mountain Dew, so he's fired up to make it 5-2 with under six minutes to go. And that was the start of something. Trey Guire tacks on another with 3.35 to go. How about one more? Gavin Frith gets goal number two less than a minute later, and that will put a bow on things. 7-2 your final, Notre Dame your 2022 Mercer County Tournament champions. The Irish raised their first MCT crown since 2013. They fell in the CVC final last year to Robbinsville on a buzzer-beating goal. As mentioned, ND also losing to Princeton twice in the regular season, getting some revenge. Mike McVay, Will Selly, and Gavin Frith all with a pair of scores. MVP goes to sophomore goalie Cole Worthman, who finished with 42 saves. Notre Dame improves to 13-6-1 and takes on the Frisch School to begin the non-public playoffs. Princeton falling to 16-4-3 with the loss. Ethan Garlock and Cooper Zulo finding net for the Little Tigers. They face Randolph in the first round of the Public B playoffs. We caught up with the champs after. A team, it's so hard for a team to beat us three times in a row. We weren't going to let them do it tonight. Not, not here, not there, not anywhere. I just knew that if I got the saves I needed, the guys would get the job done. We've got a few crucial ones at the end there. It feels awesome. It feels awesome. These kids deserved it. They worked so hard. And, you know, really tough tournament this year. <clears throat> a lot of teams could have did it, and we, we peaked at the right time. So, you know, they deserve it. Listen to that. That's what the atmosphere is all about. I love it. Love it. It's great. It's great for the program. Uh, it's great for the way last year ended, you know, and that kind of leaves a not a bad, a bad taste, but, it, you know, you want it. You realize when you're that close, less than a second away from it last year. Um, you know, we worked toward it. We knew we could do it. And they just, they brought it at the right time. For Jersey Sports Zone, I'm Neri Rodriguez.